very difficult to have enough of the ball. Nice. 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 McGiddy spin doing the McGiddy spins. Let's get it. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Flashback McGiddy to review today. We're looking at a pretty decent card, ladies and gentlemen. If, uh... If you have the right team to put him in, if you have the icons or whatnot, you know, you're looking at a pretty decent card to use because his in-game stats with a sniper chemistry style looks pretty solid, right? So we're looking at a card, right, that is 5'10 with high-medium work rates, 5-star skill moves, and a 4-star weak foot. So obviously great minimums to have on the base card stats and whatnot. 93 pace, 88 shooting, 85 sh passing, 89 dribbling, but also has 84 physical. So I'm not sure if the physical is going to be from stamina or if it's going to be from actual strength. We're going to see what's up with that, okay? So, in regards to the in-games, we have 91 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. So, you don't necessarily have to increase that. Um, right off the bat, we see the 80 finishing. So, a sniper chemistry style is what you have to give them. With the sniper chemistry style, we're looking at a plus 15 for finishing. So, 95, shot, uh, 95 finishing uh, with 92 shot power, 99 long shots with 88 composure. Really nice, right? A plus 10 in the dribbling, very important. Plus fives for the reactions and ball control. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the plus five for the bounce as well. So pretty nice. In regards to physical, um, he does have 90 aggression. So that aggression, as, uh, as well as the pace, those two together are, is going to play really, really nice. Um, and then he has 82 stamina. So 82 stamina is really low, unfortunately. But... What we are going to be doing with this card is we're going to see if he's a good striker to use because he does have the four-star weak foot with the sniper chemistry style bringing it up to 95 finishing, 95 finishing because I believe more in the base card stats than I do in the chemistry style. But I do believe in chemistry styles, just not like by that much, you know. Um, yeah, the aggression is nice. The strength is great. Uh, and he does have heading accuracy, but I don't really cross the ball anyway. So uh, the two positions... Not even two positions, because this guy even has good passing stats as well, right? So, with these types of cards, uh, the way you use them in game is that uh, you mostly have to use them on stay forward or balanced. You don't want them to come back on defense because at the end of the game, they're basically going to be tired and you're going to have to switch all the time, which isn't going to be an ideal situation. But with Magidi's card, we're going to go ahead and switch him to the uh, sniper chemistry style, which I hopefully... My boy has in his team, he does not. So I'm probably going to go have to buy that afterwards. It's like 400 coins. It doesn't cost too much to do that. Obviously, you aim for responsiveness in this game and better finishing. So we do want to do that with this card. Uh, we're going to have to put an EFL manager or an Irish manager. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I do the same thing all the time. Trust me, I'm stupid like that. Uh, I think it's not called Ireland. I think it's called like Northern Ireland, right? In this game. Oh no, it's Republic of Ireland. That's what it is. I had a brain fart there for a second. I was like, what is happening, my boy? Uh, we'll just put any of these guys. Doesn't really matter. Just so we can get that 10 chemistry on him and 100 chemistry on the team. And then we'll basically go from there. So squad, not squad selector, squad builder. We're going to fill out the rest of the team. Uh, the way that we're going to be playing in game is going to look like this. So our basic, people always look at the, the, the balance instructions on my other team. I never use that, right? I only use the 4-2-3-1 and the other attacking defensive or whatever for, uh, tactics. Balance, balance for these. Uh, and then... The instructions for Magidi up top as a striker is going to be unbalanced. So that's how we're going to try out the card in game. Just going to go ahead and buy a sniper card, fill out the rest of the team, and then we'll be uh, getting this review underway. A big night at a great venue, the Parc des Princes, here in the French capital, Paris. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal... Oh, already with a defensive presence right there. Oh, I have to go ahead and switch this... Uh, this name over here for you guys, because I know that annoys some people, which it annoys me too, in all fairness. I like to have the team, uh, the the players' names uh, on top of the head. He's got space. And it's with Socrates. This looks promising. Nicely done. This gameplay is not the best right now, but you could still tell when the dribbling feels a certain way. Nicely done with Socrates. Socrates. <laughs> Socrates. Um, I think he might be leaving the game instantly. Hopefully he does not. Because I know people are not going to 
stay in the whole game for the review so far. But uh, yeah, so far with his dribbling, I think the sniper chemistry style is definitely going to help it out a lot for sure. Because um, the thing about the thing about the sniper chemistry style is that you always aim for responsiveness. I tell this to people all the time, every single video, you want the player to be as responsive as possible. Because if you play in gameplay like this, you know, if you don't have that sniper chemistry style, your players are going to feel really bad. So um, this is how the review is going to go for most of it, guys. So uh, we're going to have to play a few games here and there. Nice defense from McGeady there. Oh, he's already going to get through here. Let's try a near post strike with power. Oh my god, nice. <laughs> that was really nice. I think the two positions that McGeady is going to be the best utilized is, is going to be best utilized is definitely going to be in the striker position and the left mid position for sure. I think those two positions are going to be the most ideal for him. We're using him up top as a striker for now, but I do think that those two positions would be the best for him. Dribbling is really nice there in those positions. Let's see how he go to, goes into empty space without me pressing L1. Comes back into position quite nicely for the first time pass. Still chilling off to the right side. Nice. Ball roll, shot. I wanted to try from that angle. Like I knew it wasn't really going to work out there, but it is what it is. This guy's going to leave this game too. Um, yeah, so left side position, the way that he goes into empty space is really nice. He's not super aggressive, which is great. You know, he comes back into position when he needs to. Um, so I forgot to switch the formation, but he, again, he was being played on the left wing position. And um, yeah, he's doing a pretty good job there. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And what we have coming up for you is a rivals game to look forward to. Lee, this should be magnificent. Cheers, Derek. Yeah, he positions really himself quite nicely in the striker one. position. To some entertaining end -to -end football. See those skill moves that he does right there? You see how fast he do he does something just like the uh, just the fake shot, right? The fake shot is super, super rapid with this card. Oh, I should have put less power into that pass, man. If I do a little tap pass so that I can do the little dummy through his legs, would have worked out perfectly. I do like the way that he's positioned in the striker position right now, though. Kind of like waiting for me to give him the ball. I like that off the ball movement, really nice actually. Because he, he gets into the space, but he doesn't overcommit into the space. If he knows he's going to be offside, then he stops, you know, which is great. Let's see what he does in this position right here. So again, overcommits the run, stops, gets back into position, which is perfect. Skill move, pass. Nice little goal right there with Socrates. Socrates! Socrates is a he's a he's a fun card to use. Um, yeah, with the engine chemistry style, he's pretty cool. But you can see with McGeady there, the big thing with this card is that his skill moves will come off very very fast, right? So a regular fake shot normally is very emphasized from certain people, right? But because his skill moves are really nice uh, and his dribbling is pretty good, um, the way that he just does the skill move is very fast, which is obviously more beneficial, right? So. I want to force a run here with him to see if I can get that with Quaresma. Nice. Good physical capabilities. With your weak foot. Ooh. Solid shot with his weak foot in all fairness. I probably should have gone for the far post there. It might have actually worked out. Nice. Great dribbling, man. Fantastic dribbling. I think I think the left attacking mid or, or strike position, yeah, for sure, man. He's really fun to use. Uh, like I'm really enjoying the card. I think the five star skills is what is what really tops off this card. If he had uh, four star skills, I, it would be a very like generic card in my opinion. But the five star skills is what really tops it off because of that quick movement from skill moves, right? Nice. 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 McGeady spin doing the McGeady spins. Let's get it. Mr. McGeady spin. <laughs> oh, McGeady doing the McGeady spins. I like it. I like it.
right, guys. So final verdict on McGeady's uh, card. He's really fun to use, my dudes. I think with the sniper chemistry style, the dribbling part being a plus 10, the composure boost, as well as giving him the 95 finishing with 92 shot power, um, it feels really good in game. I will be completely honest with you guys. The passing feels great because uh, in the striker position on 82 stamina, that's not coming back in the fence. He plays that position quite nicely. And I think that on the sides as well, um, he, would play, he would play those positions really nice too. Uh, the striker position is nice because of the responsiveness of his skill moves, the way that he dribbles on the ball really quickly uh, to get into open space. I really enjoyed using this card for the most part, right? You don't need to increase the pace. The sniper chemistry style is genuinely the only one you should use on it because passing physical aspects are all there. Um, it's just a matter of where you want to play him in the attacking area. I think he can play really nicely on the left, right, cam, or striker position, but I think preferably this card would be the best in the uh, on the left side or in the striker position. Position. So, um, yeah, I think it's worth getting him just for the fun concept, guys. He's really, really fun to use. Uh, the five-star skills is what really brings this card uh, to another level in terms of being super usable, right? So, hopefully, you guys enjoy the video today. I'll try my best to get the other flashback cards out for you guys, too, and then we'll basically take it from there, okay? Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. You guys have yourself a good day. Love you. Bye.